What's up guys, Ryan with Jet Patrol back. Another video today, I'm gonna to show you what to do with $1,500. That's right guys, we're back. Hope you guys are doing well. And I have done it again. I have ordered another piece from Yost Jazz Ink Dioramas. And I know a lot of you have as well. And if you're even somewhat interested in picking up this piece we're gonna talk about today, I've got some updated photos from him you're running out of time. Like this Friday, it's, it's currently Wednesday the 10th. On Friday is the deadline for ordering this. So if you've been under a rock and you haven't been paying attention, you're not part of his Facebook group, which if you're not, I'll put a link to his Facebook group down there. I don't do that often, but keep the updates. Um, he, he's got this 89 Batmobile and it's, it's, I tried resisting. I tried, I tried resisting, um, but damn it. <laughs> It just looks, it just looks good. It is good. It's going to look good next to my 66 Batmobile I've got over here. So I, so for those wondering, I have the 66 Batmobile. I have the Millennium Falcon cockpit. I have the Ray speeder. I have the 6L Bat signal from him. I also have two diorama. I have his Tanned Ford diorama and I have a Death Star Deluxe diorama. The Detoff version I have that as well. Uh, and I have the Jedi Starfighter on order as well from him. So I have, you know, I, I got a little bit of experience in, with his products. Now, that being said, these products are not for the faint of heart. They are not inexpensive and they are amazing. I'll put it that way. The detail and the amount of care and time and energy and effort and research gone into producing all of his projects, including this one we're going to talk about today, is unreal. And uh, I, I dare say as far as communication with his fan, I say fan base, I'd say customers, but they're really fan base. Communication with his customers slash fan base is unmatched in the six scale world. Uh, so, you know, kudos to uh, Yost for that. And I'm not being paid to say this. I just genuinely like his products and I like the guy. Uh, I like his team and uh, they, just, they just make good stuff. So there's that. So if you have already ordered this, let me know in the comment section down below. If this sways you one way or the other, let me know that as well. Just saying. And if you join his Facebook group, let him know I sent you. That'd be cool. All right, let's talk about this. Uh, so I got some updated photos from him uh, today. Actually, sent them today, and I was out running around town, and and um, I, I said I'll check them out when I get home, and and they look pretty freaking fantastic. I must be honest with you guys. Now, be before we get too far into this, let's talk about the dimensions. I have his website up over here, and I'll, I'll just read them off to you because you can read it for yourself. But you can go to jazzinc.aromas.com if you want to pre-order this thing. Uh, so it's going to be humongous. Uh, straight up, it's going to be it's going to be larger than the 66 Batmobile, which straight up scares me. Got to be honest with you. Uh, 43.6 inches long. Now, it will not fit in any of my display cases that I currently, my custom setup now. It won't fit there. I don't know where it's going to go. But to be fair... It probably needs its own standalone thing. I could get a Modu case, but so many people have Modu cases. I don't want to do that. So that's, I don't want to do that. Uh, but he has a beautiful setup in his office with Modu cases. Um, with 17.87 inches. So it's going to be fairly wide. It's, it's, I mean, it's a six scale Batmobile. It's going to be long. And then uh, 9.21 inches high. So 40, call it 44 inches, 44 by 18 by. Nine and a half. Years, okay, so that round in there. So the the, uh, the extras going on there. I'm, and I'm looking at the ultimate like signature edition. This is what I'm taking a look at here. Officially dubbed the most movie accurate scale model of the '89 Batmobile in any scale, uh, any scale, movie accurate scale. Opening cockpit, detailed cockpit, uh, cockpit interior, rubber tires, rotating tires. Posable steering wheels, light up features in the cockpit, light up headlights, fully painted, assembled, and weathered, so you don't have to mess with anything. That's nice. Uh, movie accurate sound effects, which are always welcome. Functioning headlights, which we'll have photos of. Complete with weapon accessories, grappling hook, two Browning machine guns, which I think is pretty freaking amazing. Bat discs, and then he did this update where uh, he added some more stuff. The spinning turbine, that's freaking cool. 22 die casts and metal pieces on the car, separate metal wheel bats, die cast bat discs, die cast filler caps, side mount for side pods. That's cool. All metal grills, aluminum or aluminium, sorry, <laughs> aluminium steering wheel, <laughs> 
mesh and headrest, die cast steering wheel, correct lettering on rubber tires, leather seats with silicone coating for long life. That does matter. Some die cast parts, uh, exact number of parts to be determined based on final numbers. Uh, custom pearl black satin automotive paint. Now we're gonna, I wanna talk about that in just a second. Remote controlled uh, smoke, Lights and sound effects, carpeting on the floor, brake and clutch and throttle pedals. Now, there's a lot going on. There, there was a lot of stuff. Again, check out his website for more, but I'll just kind of read off the list. Uh, I, I, let's dive into the photos of this thing, and let's talk about some of the difference between this one and obviously the Hot Toys one. The, the comparison's got to be there. There's no way to avoid it. Uh, this one's going to be more screen accurate, clearly. Uh, it's size accurate, scale accurate. It's going to be more accurate on that. Uh, it's going to be larger than the Hot Toys version, uh, but it's also going to be more expensive. Okay, so if you can get one or the, I don't care which one you get. Personally, I don't pay it either way. I don't care. But um, you got to go with your budget and then space constraints. Might, you Maybe the smaller one works better for your space. It might, right? So one of those things. All right, so let's get into, let's get into the photos of this guy. Um, and number one, he's got it next to the original Keaton uh, Batman from Hot Toys, which we know we're getting two Keaton Batman uh, we got one, the modern version from the Flash, and then we're getting the 89, I guess 2.0, if you will, that's going to be uh, more poseable, better scale, all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, this thing looks sick. And the first thing I can tell you, I have seen the a, the Hot Toys version of this bat, um, the bill in person, and it just looks like straight up black plastic, whereas this one clearly has automotive paint on it, and it's got a pearlescent, according to him. I don't, let, let me... Uh, let me back up here read exactly. Um, as he said, uh, where was it? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, custom pearl black satin automotive paint. Okay. So it's going to have some luminosity to the paint and the light's going to bounce off of it nicely. As you can see in some of the photos. Uh, and I, I think it's going to look pretty freaking awesome. Um, with Keaton Batman there, it's just, it's just too iconic guys. I tried to pass on it. I did. I, I did. I mean, I've got that Jedi Starfighter coming. That thing is going to be huge, freaking mungus. And then you got this thing. I, I, I just, I couldn't, man. I couldn't. Look at those freaking fins, man. The light-up features, the turbine, the smoke um, operations that we've seen, like on the twenty-two Batmobile. Oh, I mean, come on, man. Sound effects, diecast pieces. I mean. Again, I don't know where I'm going to display this thing. Have zero clue. Zero clue. Um, it's just, it's just freaking beautiful, man. I don't, the side, the side profile of the original design was just, just on money. Uh, and it's just everything about this thing. Everywhere you look, there's details. The tur the spinning turbine on the front, that's freaking cool. The amber lights on the front, that's accurate. Uh, now, the cockpit is not motorized, all right? You can open it, but it's not motorized, so that would be a whole other thing, and I don't really want it to be either. That's uh, that's something else that I just don't want to deal with. Um, but it just, it, it just it just looks good. It just does. Now, I don't claim to be a Batmobile of, like expert. I'm not, okay? I'm just appreciating it for the way it looks and what I remember the Batmobile being uh, in that time. So you're going to get details like the the oh, the bluing on the cables underneath. Look at that. You get the bluing on those. Oh, you get like the, the subtle shades of bronze and copper and brass and silvers. And oh, man, come on. Come on. Look at this. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. It was just too... It, it, it was just... It was just too impressive to pass up. It just really was. It really was. And you guys know me. I'm a big Star Wars guy and, and Iron Man. I got a lot of Iron Man. So. Um, but Iron Man doesn't really have a car. Although if somebody wanted to make the 1-6 scale F1 car used in Iron Man 2, I would 100% buy that. Uh, I probably should just 3D print one, but man. Anyways, the mesh, he says these these parts, I, th I think he said the side, all metal grills. So all these little mesh parts are going to be die cast. Uh, that's pretty freaking cool. I mean, the details and inlays and, and just all the little louvers and everything is just... You don't need me to tell you this. There's freaking photos here. I'm telling you anyways because I'm excited about this thing. I think it's just... It's just cool. 
It's just cool. Now it is a pricey piece. Uh, so the this particular version is $1,499 plus shipping. Now you can expect shipping on this thing to be kind of pricey. So I would say probably three, four, five hundred dollars in shipping US dollars, based depending on where you're at. Okay, this is gonna come out projected uh, September of 24 in that that area. I guess that depends on which order you ordered yours in or which batches and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure everybody's going to be like, where's my Batmobile? Where's my Batmobile? Because that's just how collectors are, which is fine. Um, but um, it's going to come, you know, uh, fourth-ish quarter, third, third, fourth quarter of uh, next year or 24 this year. Oh, my God. It's 2024 already. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, there is a $100 non-refundable deposit and you can make up to 12 payments if you care to do, do that. You've got payment plans on there. So if you're thinking about getting this and you want to kind of space out over time rather than forking all that money up front, that's fine. Uh, again, you have a limited time. So watch this and go um, with, with uh, make haste is I guess what, what I would say. Um, this thing's all right, there's one more piece. Oh, let's, I got more photos. I got more photos. Let's, well, I digress. The paint application on this looks so much better with that pearlescent paint than it did on the flat black plastic from Hot Toys. It, it's just it's just different. And that, again, that's why the cost difference is so different as well. So you got a larger, you got die cast parts, you got light sounds, you got uh, uh, smoke effects, you got all kinds of different things. So it's, it's you know, it's different. It's different. Um, here's all the little, the blades that come out and it does have that, the cylinder you can pop up there and rotate it around like you did when you did the U-turn deal. Uh, the, how oh, the guns, oh man, man, those are so good. I mean, that might, that's a cool way to display right there, honestly. I think fully kitted out would be the way to go. Now I saw another post he made in the Facebook group, but if you're not part of his Facebook group, you need to do that. Um, where he laid out all these different pieces for the cockpit and all these lights and panels and switches and all that kind of stuff. It's it's a ridiculous amount of stuff. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Light up features in there. Uh, and th these will always be, I say always be, um, they're not battery powered. They're actually plug in. So you'll have, depending on what country you're in, what power you, you know, he usually adds an adapter so you can attach it to whatever power outlet you have. He'll take care of you in that respect. Uh, so you can plug these in, leave them plugged in and turn them on with a, uh, with a remote or turn them off a remote, turn them on, whatever you want to do. Uh, this is too good to pass, guys. I, I am in awe of the freaking wheels. <laughs> I know that might seem like a silly thing, but the depth he's got going on in there, the, the way the light's hitting it, oh, I mean. Hmm. So here's a pose with uh, Batman, with the Joker, 89 Joker, posed up. Uh, and Anthony from Six Skill Posers posed this up. So good job, man. Give a shout out to him. Well done. Um, yeah, that looks great. Now I'm not going to do that because I don't. I don't want to take the risk of scratching the paint on my Batmobile. I'm not going to do that. So this was Yost. He can scratch it if he wants to, um, and he probably won't. I don't know, but uh, I'm not going to take a risk. But I think it looks freaking cool. And then one more here, uh, and you can see how long this 43.6 inches long. <laughs> Now there's one more piece. Uh, there, this is a signature edition, so you will get a signed plate. I don't know if I have a photo of that in here. Do I? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you have a signature edition, uh, and it'll be numbered. There's not. There's not a. It's not an edition run like he says. I'm making five hundred thousand. It's not like that. It's, it's however many get ordered. That's how many. But once the order is done, that's done, and you'll get a signed uh, plaque from Yost and his dad Hans. Uh, and I'm very much super excited. But out of all the pieces I have over here. I don't have anything signed by them and to add on display. That would be a cool feature to have. Um, I'm going to back this thing up. Actually, I'm just going to leave it right here. I'm excited about this one. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Are you picking this up? Are you not? Is there a reason? It's freaking awesome. Other than, I get it. It's pricey. I understand. I understand. Um, outside of that, it's undeniably beautiful. That's all I got to say. Yoast, your team. Well done. Once again, you have my money. And I, I messaged him. I said, hey, you got me again. Um, I support him, man. I'll, I'll keep supporting stuff like this as long as it's awesome. And um, yeah, that's all I got. As always, click for you like. See you next time.